Hey YouTube, it's Brittany. Um, I wanted to come to you with an official lens check. Um, I just wanted to, wanted to show you guys like what I'm really working with. So numbers don't lie. I know I have like crazy shrinkage, but I wanted to show what I was working with. So you know where I'm starting at in terms of making these videos. Ooh, a tangle. Okay, so I just did this video, but I did it on dry hair. Mm, didn't work out too well. Not a good look. So I just have some uh, water and castor oil in here. And I just need to dampen the hair so I can get a more accurate measure. Cause I'm measuring, oops, am I spraying you? Sorry guys. <laughs> I wanna get a more accurate measure. So I'm just gonna wet the hair and then comb through it and then measure it. There we go. So this is my bang area. I got my bangs cut in June for my birthday. I had them, I had like China doll bangs. They were cut straight across here. So this is from June to October, right down to the top of my lip. You can see that. So I'm gonna start off measuring this piece. So start at the bottom. I'm not gonna count the scraggly because I'll probably get cut. And I get my ends trimmed. So wait, where is this? So this is right here. And that is, where is that? Seven and a little between, the seven and two eighths. It was between the quarter and a half. So, oops, sorry guys right here seven and two eighths for my bang area when that's comb out and it's damp let's do for the middle of my head uh, let's take this piece for the top middle portion I'm gonna spray this down so I can stretch it out some more because my hair oh, shrinks up so bad. Okay, so that's kind of damp. Damp enough for me to comb through. And I remember, I never comb my hair when it's dry. I don't. So I'm just combing this. Oh. So this is detangled and damp. So I'm going to take the tape measure and measure this. You guys can't see. Hope you guys can see. And do this piece. And this is at nine inches. So I have my bangs at seven and two eighths the middle portion of my head at nine inches and then let's do this piece right here my goal is armpit length i'm pretty close to it but i'll get a more accurate picture when my hair is straight because it's just hard for me to envision my hair like this long when it's like so tightly coiled and curly right now so i'm gonna stretch this piece out and i'm gonna dampen it a little bit more and i want like a nice comfortable more like to my boob like not the top armpit length if you can see i want it more like down to here like i think i'll be comfortable at that length closer to bra strap length than armpit length so this is one little section right here. I turn to the side so you can see. But then I can't see, but whatever. So I can come all the way up to here. And it is at 
eight inches. So this piece right here currently comes right here on me. So it depends on how much she trims off. It's almost at arm length. I'm pretty close. I'm really excited to see how it looks straight. But that's how long that piece is. So I have what, seven and two eighths, nine, eight inches right here. Let's do like a middle, like random side piece. And I wish I had somebody to grab the back of my hair so I could see how, like where it hits me on my back. But nobody's available at the moment. So I'm just gonna work out with what we have. Let's spray this piece. And get this saturated. Because since my hair has is so tightly coiled and curled, it's just like a nightmare to comb through dry hair. And like you're more prone to like breakage and knots and tangle, so my hair needs some type of slip on it. There we go. So this is this piece of tangle. It comes out to here. So let's measure this piece. And I'll definitely take pictures for you guys when I'm getting my hair done throughout the process. Oops, come back piece of hair. This is so hard to grab and measure. Okay, this piece comes out to like nine and a half or so. Between, like, let's say nine and what is this? A quarter. Between nine and a half, nine and a quarter, something like that for that piece. So I have between seven and nine and a half going on right now in my hair. And I don't know how accurate this measurement is. I'll get a better image at least for myself when it's straight, it's so hard for me to see how long my hair is when it's not straight. And I get it straightened like every two months. I get it, my hair straightened, professionally straightened. I go to salon and I get my ends trimmed. And I love her. She's amazing. She does a great job. But in between, I do my hair myself. But I just don't cut my own hair myself. That's it. And if I could probably do that, I probably would do everything myself. But she's well worth it to go get my hair done. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with pictures. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Love, love, love. I'll talk to you later. Bye.